Hey guys, uh, Pete here, N6QW, and uh, I just have up on the bench here an SBE33. last video I made was uh, with an SBE34, and I managed to find a uh, pretty good SBE33. I got a few problems with it. When I first got it, uh, well, first I saw, heard it on the internet, and I could tell that it had some uh, problems in a couple of the capacitors, a pretty standard issue, and... Uh, I had a few capacitors left over that I purchased for the SBE34 and uh, sure enough when I opened the rig uh, I looked and I saw this one capacitor had exploded and I replaced that and I replaced another one and uh, then I found one uh, bad transistor in the, the uh, driver stage uh, ahead of the 12BY7 or the 12DQ7 and I replaced that so it puts out uh, 60, 70 watts. I've not made any on-air contacts, but right now it's on 20 meters. And I got it working on the beam. And I actually think this works better than the SPE-34. VFO stability is uh, actually quite good. Uh, and the tune rate is a little bit better than on the SPE-34. It's just, they crowded too much in. Um, this only tunes from like 14.2 uh, to 14.4, 7.15 to 7.350, uh, 7, 350, yeah, uh, uh, 3,800 to 4, and uh, 21.25 to 21.450, so about 200 kilohertz on the VFO, and maybe that's part of the reason the stability. I got one cracked knob here, and I, I think I got a line on a replacement knob. So, uh, but uh, I cleaned it up a little bit, and uh, I got to clean up the case. And then I want to, uh, there's a vintage sideband that uh, tomorrow evening, this is Wednesday on Thursday, at uh, 7.202.5. I may uh, try to check in there. I did notice on transmit, I was running this through a Variac on transmit uh, on voice peaks, there was a little warble, and it may be uh, something in the uh, power supply capacitors. I need to change those as well, but uh, uh, on receive, it does pretty good. That's on the beam. Twenty meters. Keep looking at it to see if I can see any patterns of uh, new problems. Okay, fourteen three fifty. Oh, they tried to the Forty meters is pretty good. Uh, Seventy-five. I get about seventy watts out on. On uh, on uh, 75 meters. I haven't tried. Anyway, David, good to hear you. Great mobile signal, This is N6QW and SV33. Panels in pretty good shape. I need to clean it up. I got some stainless steel cleaner, and I got a replacement knob, and I clean up the knobs here and clean up the case. So well, thank you for that. Uh, I may try to put this well, on the vintage sideband net tomorrow night. But this was uh, the first time I ever saw one of these in 1963. Uh, when I was stationed out here in California, a guy bought one from Henry Radio down on Olympic. And uh, had it installed in his car. And I actually bought an inverter for this thing. For 20 bucks, I got a 200-watt inverter. So uh, I'm going to have a little fun uh, operating this uh, off of a battery. N6QW here, and we're looking at an SBE33 on 20 meters. Uh, yeah, sounds pretty good. Collins filter. Uh, luckily, I have some 2N2672s. And by the way, this this is a later version of the SPE because the original ones had uh, 2N1727s was the primary PNP uh, uh, germanium transistor that was used in all the RF stages. This one has 2672s and has plug-in sockets, so it makes it kind of nice. You can swap... When you have a problem, you can swap some of the uh, transistors to find which one was best. And I, I wasn't getting any output, and then I said, you know, I'm going to swap these two transistors. And I put the, uh, I think it was Q10 or Q11, put put one in the other slot, and it didn't have any receives, so I knew it had a bad transistor. And fortunately, I've got some. Yeah, 
Not bad. 1960s technology. Actually, we have Butch Mason to thank for this. Butch, in 1952, came up with a bilateral concept and tried shopping it around to, you know, Collins, they were uninterested, and RME, and Gon he went to Gonset, but they Gonset got back to him too late, so he got Cosmo phone. Um, they do have, uh, they take the, the mains voltage and they voltage quadruple it. And there are a couple of power, tra there is a power transformer here to produce the low voltage, uh, for the, uh, for the bias in the filament. So, uh, it's got a few tra transformers in it, but by and large, uh, uh, you got to watch how you plug this thing in because you could have some problems. So anyway, SB33 and 6QW.